Hello everyone and welcome to the webinar. My name is Jennifer Edelstein and I am the Marketing Assistant for Industrial Controls. Today's webinar is Analytical Measurement. The presentation will take about 45 minutes and after the presentation we will take some time to answer your questions. During the presentation, feel free to enter your questions into the chat interface on the right hand side of your screen. We will also open it up to voice questions where you can raise your hand, but this option is only for people with phone connections and not those using their computer microphones. Now we are going to hear from our panelists. Joe Callahan has been with Industrial Controls for seven years. He is currently the Regional Sales VP and responsible for industrial instrumentation development. Prior to joining Industrial Controls, Joe has 30 years experience with process instrumentation including sales, application engineering, and also field service engineering. Our second panelist is Tony Walker, and he is a territory manager working for Honeywell out of the Cincinnati office. Tony has practical experience in coal-fired and nuclear power plants, chemical plants, water and waste market customers, petrochemical applications, and industrial wastewater. At this time, I will pass the presentation to Joe. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for attending the Analytical Measurement Seminar. Um, I want to give you a quick background on industrial controls and our relationship with Honeywell. We have been in the industry for 34 years, since 1976, and we have been in partnership with Honeywell since 1991. So we've been working with Honeywell and their field teams for the past 19 years. We're Honeywell's largest distributor, and we as a company have 17 regional offices. We represent Honeywell in 11 locations and cover 14 states. And we have 128 sales and support professionals throughout the organizations that are available to help you with questions and applications, uh, quotations, setting up field sales meetings, et cetera. So um, I'm going to pass this over to Tony Walker, who's been with Honeywell, and he will pre be presenting the product. And again, as Jennifer said, if you have any questions, during the session, type something in the chat button, and we'll give you some ample time at the end of the, of the, the presentation. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Tony Walker, and like Joe said, I'm with Honeywell. Um, the presentation today is on analytical instruments, and Jennifer was right that the, the presentation should last about 45 minutes. Uh, and we've already got one technical issue, Jennifer. I'm frozen. Um, hold on just a second. See if that worked. Hmm. I cannot move my screen, Joe. Okay, Tony, we're actually going to host it from my screen, so if you just uh, give me one minute, and we'll uh, we'll bring it up. Thank you. For some reason, I'm not able to advance slides. It worked up until. Well, she's going to take over. Everything's great. In the interim, this is Joe Callahan again. I just jumped on. Um, I'm going to give you a, a quick infomercial on our company profile. Um, it looks like it's coming back up in a minute. But again, with all these different offices, we get involved with both industrial and commercial process instrumentation. So we deal with HVAC controls, combustion controls, industrial valves, all types of industrial components and factory automation. We also do a lot of technical training both in-house as well as now webinars through our new website. So um, if you haven't had an opportunity, I, I, I'm offering you to look at our website, industrialcontrolsonline.com. And it's very interactive. We have direct links to all the different manufacturers that we represent. So it looks like we're up and running again. 
Tony, do you have access now to the slides? Uh, yes, I sure Okay. Do. All right, here we go. Thank you. All right, let's go to the next slide, Jennifer. Thank you. The, the products that we're going to discuss are all covered uh, on this sheet. Um, you want to back up one, Jennifer? Thank you. Uh, top line uh, over on the left is our analyzer. We'll talk about that a little later on. I want to talk immediately about the products in the middle under conductivity when we get to that section. Um, the picture in the center uh, are, are toroidal conductivities, and the one uh, down kind of in the center of the screen is what uh, we what we refer to as uh, clean water, pure water uh, conductivity cells, and you'll see the difference between those later. So I'll go on to the next slide. Uh, we're going to cover on the pH side what is pH, the difference between acid and base or uh, alkalinity and the acid side, kind of what the pH scale was. Uh, you, can, you can read these, but the biggest difference, uh, the biggest conversation we're going to have is what a measuring and what a reference electrode does and how they function. We're going to talk about calibration of pH, maintenance, and troubleshooting. Then under conductivity, uh, we'll spend a shorter amount of time because it's basically an easier subject. And we're going to talk about the definition, the unit of measure, again, how to calibrate, and the difference between the cell constants. Yes? OK, so the basic theory of pH. Next slide. Basically, pH is 0 to 14. And the reason it's 0 to 14 is that really, when you're measuring pH, you're measuring the hydrogen ion activity. So if the hydrogen ion concentration in a solution is less than the hydroxyl ions, you're always talking about it being uh, on, on the acid side. If the solution is, uh, go ahead to the next slide, too. Uh, if, if the hydrogen ion is, is greater than the hydroxyl ion, uh, then we're always talking about it being acid. So the greater the hydroxyl ions, the more basic. Uh, the more hydrogen ions, uh, the more acid. And what dictates whether it's more hydrogen or hydroxyl ions is really what you're doing with that solution. But that's where the 0 to 14 comes in, 7 neutral. 14, highly caustic, 0, highly acid. Go ahead. Next slide. OK. On your pH of common solutions, go ahead and hit it two more times. Uh, who's ever got control? Uh, on the process side or for values for common uh, substances, <clears throat> I'll give you an example, your blood sugar or your blood measurement <clears throat> is about 7 pH, so is milk. Uh, I've often uh, kidded people that <clears throat> if you're buffering a pH system and uh, you don't have anything around 7, you can use milk because it's about 7. Um, but you get down into your soft drinks, uh, that'll range anywhere from the high 2s up around 5 for root beer. <clears throat> if you're a beer drinker, the mid 4s, uh, orange juice around 3. So you can see that just in every day, um, Almost everything that we eat is on the acid side. Um, uh, salad dressing tastes the way it does because it's on the acid side. On the, uh, on the process side, you'll see that things like uh, uh, ammonia nitrate has got about the same pH value as beer. Um, vinegar has about the same pH value as, uh, as bleaching would be. So you know, pH is in, our, is in our lives every day. Um, and if, notice if you ever have an acid uh, indigestion, which would be less than 7, uh, things that you would take for it to neutralize your stomach, and we use the word neutralization in, in process applications too, but you might use something like an antiacid, like milk of magnesia uh, in your stomach, uh, which has got about a 10.5 to help neutralize your stomach acid if you have acid indigestion. So it's in our lives every day. Next slide. <clears throat> 